I wanted to start off by saying that I believe that we need to always address our checkered history with racism, especially our local racism with 1898 massacre and everything else. I do believe that it needs to be taught uh, historically. It needs to be fact-based. And that is honestly my concern with stamped, especially being taught in an English class. Um, now, I understand what the reasoning was. I've read, I've, I've looked at everything everyone's posted, and realistically, at the end of the day, there was just too many inaccuracies in that book for me to, to really feel okay with it. And not just that, but correct me if I'm wrong, but we had a discussion multiple times in here about critical race theory. And I understand that it's looking at our laws and looking at our institutions through a, a racial lens. And I mean, I guess the best way to say it is everyone denied that it was in our schools, but yet now we're here having a conversation of whether this book should be allowed or not. And now personally, I believe it should be allowed in the library. I do. Now, there are certain books that I believe should not be allowed in our library. I think that some of them are sexually explicit to the point that we need to come up with some type of rating system, like a G, PG, PG-13 style rating system. And some of these books are truly sexually explicit, multiple chapters inside of there that just were sex scenes. And most of them are heterosexual. It has nothing to do with LGBTQ. A lot of them. I mean, I. <laughs> Long story short, we've got issues, and I, I hope y'all don't spend all of our, prob our time in this community dealing with these issues. I hope that we can find something better, because realistically, this is, this is getting rough. And I'm going to leave you with this. Like, I mean, in that book, it falsely blamed Reagan economic, Reagan's economic policies for the skyrocketing unemployment, which is factually untrue. It called the movie Rocky racist. <laughs> Like, there was a lot of things in there that really rubbed me wrong, and I think if it was one thing if we talked about the different institutional racism parts as part of history, fact-based, but unfortunately, we missed the mark with this. Y'all have a nice night. Thank you, Mr. Sutton. Jamie.